There I say simple. You 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 speak tomorrow on the church about your your experience, you know, because it's a it's a very inspirational. You know, <laughs> he might cry because you know? he's emotional. Well, that's okay. You you know because it's it, everybody will you know learn from it. Very emotional. Yeah. No, it's it's part. That's that's that's. That's part of the sto that's part of the testimony how God is good to your life. You know? There is no alternative. It's so simple. You know? Yeah. I had to deal with so many people that claim to be a atheist. Atheist. I think I hope I said this right. Atheist. Atheist, that's right, you know. It is a uh, a long vowel, the A that makes it an A sound, you know. Yeah. So that differentiation between long and short vowels sometimes gets totally butchered you know but uh, i'm doing okay you know so n no hard feeling or no problem you haven't come to the you haven't come to the philippines to apologize for your english believe me that's all right they have a lot of, they have a lot of thing to do to do no i i've met already one also german guy in uh, cebu because that I also knew, you know, to YouTube, but it's pretty casual because the only interest with him is he is speaking to the German public in Germany, you know, or YouTube, and trying to coerce people, you know, to come on, it's much nicer here in the Philippines. He has lived in Cebu City nine years now. So, what's his name? Nine, nine, nine. Nine years. His name nine years. is... Now, what oh, is oh, his oh, name? I'm sorry. First name is Gertz. Uh, and, and, and he has... I mean, I'm, just trying, here, yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to think what's his... I have a plug here. Sorry. Als Deutscher in, the, in den Philippinen. No, as a German in the Philippines. And most of it is German that he does. And he also has an English cat channel, but he's still building on it, you know. It's just this man's attitude, you know, the approach to life is kind of so fundamental, so simple. He's also in his 50s already. You know he was not educated with the current generation and that is quite a difference, you know. But again, how many hours do we spend with him? Two hours, Two just, hours just to have one. Because he's working. Yeah, he is actually somebody who has a work permit in the Philippines because he's bilingual. You know, he's working in one of the call centers in really? Cebu. Yeah, absolutely. And the second sentence, you know, when I conversed with him, my English is better than his. There is no two ways about it. You know, and he says, you know what? Do you want me to get your job? You know, <laughs> because you know, my visa situation because of my salary is very easy. There's there's nothing to it. You know, it took. You must life. have got the the ballot by. Of course, yeah. immediately. So yeah, split second. Yeah, for a year. Says, bang bang says have a good day. You know, no, that was very 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 easy. You then know? you go for a 13A, <coughs> which makes you permanent. Yeah. Yeah, but the only problem with 13A is, if that's what you, do you know what happens to your visa if your wife dies? Your visa is in, is gone. Really? Absolutely. I study, I'm an engineer, oh, you know. Yeah. I'm super detail oriented <laughs> with everything. Oh, you we know? don't know that. <laughs> you know, it's absolutely. He studied it because right now he wants me to gain back my Filipino citizenship. <laughs> No, we, we already would have it if it wasn't a problem with a PSA birth certificate. It takes a long time to get it if you're overseas. Oh, yeah. You know? That's what it is. No, it's very easy. Gosh, she still have the Filipino passport with the original name before we got married. And remember, that was 35 years ago. Oh. And there is a stamp in there of the consulate, the Filipino consulate. And the Marcos. And, and yeah, yeah. Marcus. I was there. I met Marcus and I talked to him. Oh. You know, the father, not the guy that is in in, in power now. Right. You know, 
Ferdinand, also his name, you know. Junior. And no, that wasn't the junior then. Right now. Yeah, he's, he's a junior, junior now. The, the current he's junior. junior now. He's yeah, a it's junior now. Well, what's his middle name? Bong Bong? Bong Bong. Bong Bong. Bong Bong. That's a nickname, Bong Bong. See, I had that right, you know. Bong Bong is his middle name, you know. And I am pretty detailed in the things that I study and I do. And, uh, oh, engineering. So on what basis, if you... So if your wife is a full, a full Filipino citizen yeah. and you're married to her and you have a permanent residence, which, yeah. which I have a permanent residence, well, of course. right? And you're, and you're saying, yes, same, same thing. You're saying that if she dies, they would... It depends what kind of a visa there is. You know, there are several kinds several kinds of visas that you can acquire as a foreigner uh, by virtue of being married you know i mean for example that's the 13a i think is yeah. the one you know there, there permanent are other residency. there are other Isn't that what we have? yeah th permanent yeah. residency there are other subcategories of it that particular visa will expire when i wouldn't be surprised when the Study that, you will find out. Yeah, I was also the guy, no, no, I'm sidetracking myself here. Yeah. Remember when the two of you were talking about pension, what happens for her to <laughs> get attention? That? I wrote a little dissertation and I explained exactly what it is and how it goes and at what age. I don't know if you remember these things, but of course I got a heart for it, you know, because I was yeah. to the point. You have to be this age and so much. Well, that is the early age that you can yeah, draw she, pension. She can't get a pension because she's she's only 34. Oh, I know, but the point being, there is an Many. early stage. <laughs> and, 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 and you to retire. What? No, my last <laughs> sentence in, in a mini dissertation there was, so keep our husbands around for yes, a very I, long time. I remember that. You remember that I because remember. you were just... So exuberant, you know. That's about why you want me to last 100, 110 years. <laughs> it was like, it was no, like, because I it's very like, simple. You know, the really earliest that she can I have like pension like of you like is six zero. Know, I'm no, at, at her like, normal wow. retirement <laughs> age. No, that is not normal retirement. And age. then then she has sixty like, is the absolute <laughs> earliest. Earliest. So yeah. you, like she would do, get a fraction. Of you know, yours. It's like 62 and 66, retiring 62 and 66. And I can't keep up with it. That's what no, I think. I have no interest in, US, in the US. Yeah. No, the truth is, is even further. With every additional year, her percentage goes up. But that is pertaining to the application. In other words, you are, if, if somebody were to apply at 60, uh, even, I mean, uh, the citizen like you or I could apply at 60 already for Social Security, for example, you know, which is what we're talking about. And but then you you have to have so much cut from your full pension benefit. Yeah, it's, it's according to how much it's based on your income. Yeah. And if you apply at 60, and then yeah. it would stay until you die that much. If you are at 61, it's a few percentage for more. Yeah. And the final for full uh, benefit is 67 right now. Yeah. 67 is full benefit. They call it a full retirement age. Yeah. You know? But that full, that full uh, pension that you get is, as you say, for instance, I went to America and I was there for about 20 years, during which time I became a citizen, during which time I earned money and legally and paid and it, paid tax. Of course, absolutely. And yeah. depending on how much I put in, that's I how would, much you get out. Of yeah. course, but the, the the basic formula there is a minimum of 40 quarters. That's 10 years. Yeah, you know. That's all. Yeah. So you remember some of these things. Yeah. And they base their. I learned this. I learned this myself. They base how much you get 
by how many, uh, they take 35, your best years, and they average it up, and then they have to tell you figure it out. It, what, it's what? actually 30 only. Well, but it, 30 however it got me, there was a couple of years that I didn't work and I was going to school. So I actually only had, at 35, I only had actually like 32 actual working years. And that included when I was a teenager having a part-time job. So basically, when I first got at 62, I got this much. <laughs> but I didn't care. See, I remember in my case, because as you know, I was in Germany first, you know, that's where I had most of my education and learned a lot of things. In the years that I worked in Germany, uh, counted for in America too, because they have agreements, social security agreements, and I guarantee you it's the same with the UK, that the some years that you had earning there, and then I reported to the retirement agency, you know, in the UK, I don't know what they're calling it. Yeah, and the, the, they, the pensions department, department yeah, the pension. And they count also in yeah. America for me. Yeah, Good. but they, the, the two don't mix. No, I they have, don't mix, no, but I the have, time counts. Yes, I have two pensions. Same here. Very, <laughs> very, very, they're, they're uh, a disgrace to pensions. Okay, both of them. But I have two for the for the prior years to going to America prior to 1992. I have my pension up to them because I paid in, and then when I got to America for whatever it was, 20 years or something, I get the pension for that too. And both of them send separately. Yeah, of course, that's the same with me. Yeah, I have a German, which is uh, because there wasn't that much. Even in the younger years, the income wasn't so much, and I had yeah. still a lot of education to go to. Same for me. So I know that 